morning. I'm gonna turn my headphones off. All right. So it is Saturday. Yay, Saturday. Let me wash my hands real quick. Duck got that left in with the turkeys and the rooster. He was the rooster that beat him up a little bit. Not bad. He's got a little bit of blood on him. Or her. That'd be the good thing about downsizing is I can get rid of some and then I don't have those problems. I get leery when I only have one rooster because if you only have one rooster and it dies, you got to take all the eggs and incubate them. Because if you don't, you got to go find a rooster. And sometimes it's easy to find roosters and sometimes it's not. And then you're bringing in an outside bird. You don't know what kind of diseases they have. Oh my goodness, goodness. Yeah, so. Today I have a few things to do. So I got up, I cleaned the house. It's probably maybe 8 o'clock. I was hoping to get out to the store when it opened at 9. I have some really good coupons for today only. So I wanted to get there and grab a couple of things. I clean the house. Stuff away. Mop the floors because we needed it. I love my husband, but he is not a deep cleaner. I'm telling you, he kills me. But then I am a type of person who leaves stuff. Hey, hey! Don't do that. I'm gonna make some cheese. I want to try that four-week-old cheddar. The cheese press. They don't have a lot of weights though. My daughter had some. We used to have weights, it would have been easy. We'll see how it goes the first time before I decide I'm going to go out and spend $100 on weights. Once with the Goodwill, that'd be awesome. You know, I don't want to pay full price for anything. Cheap! Actually, I'm not cheap. I'm thrifty. I'm thrifty. I like that name. Thrifty. Oh, I have started some more corn, and I know that people are saying it's too late to start the corn. Well, but our latest frost isn't until the beginning of October. It says 85 days. 80 to 85 days. No. 75 to 80, that's right. So I have 75 days still. I probably have 90 days. I need to go across. And regardless of whether or not I get the corn off of it, the goats like to eat the stalks. And it's good for horses. It helps, um, helps absorb all of the sand and stuff in their gut. So then I can feed it to the horses too. And it's sweet. I don't so like it. I have to figure out I'm mean, going to put some animals up. Week of 4th of July, I think I'll list some stuff up. I'll list the geese, the turkeys. And I'll list some goats. Um. I'm keeping this one. I could put out something and see if anybody's interested. Yeah, I would miss you. I would miss your ornery butt. My daughter, my youngest, is thinking about staying in Seattle and going to, I don't know how to pronounce it, Estes. Tishan School and Cosmetology School. Which is a great idea, I think. I'll miss her horribly. But where we live, there's really not much opportunity here. I mean 
think there's a cosmetology school in the zoo. She'd be really good at it. She's very attention detailed. Unlike me where I'm going like, whoa, and we just go and do it. And then we go, ooh, we should have done that. 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 Kind of like the greenhouse this year with the children. They have better ideas for next year. Like each gray gets us a spe specific thing to plant. The sunflowers all went like that. So we're going to do sunflowers again. I'd like to do another herbal, perennial herb. We did two this year. Two of them got fried. I'm going to do your feet. Should we do your feet tomorrow? Would you like that? Oh, look at you. My little lovey-dovey don't you know. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You're saying, don't sell me. Don't sell me. You're not that good. You don't want to go. You want to stay here. Your attitude's change then, Missy. Mm -hmm. Yes, you won't even let me kiss you. Your sister doesn't care. She'll let me kiss her. She's like, I love you. I love you, she says. What fell off? Oh, my ear. No. The whip for the horses. Which you never really whip them with. You just use it as to extend your arm. Whips aren't necessarily extensions. Come on. It's like, because my arm is only this big, so if I have a thing, thing on it and I can move it, the horses will avoid that movement. Okay. Now, it's time to go. Here. You can have a mouthful of peas. I'll put some peas in your stuff. Oh, my OMG! Eat the ones off the counter that you spilled, rat girl. <laughs> You're into the peas today? Come on, come on, let's go. Let's put them in your stall and go back with your screaming daughter. So I have these eggs in different containers. So I have some that I found, which I think will be okay. But because I'm not 100% sure they're okay, I can't sell those ones. I can eat them. Because I don't care, if, you know, if I crack it open and it's not nice. Um, but... I don't want to sell those. All right, let's get in on them. So one of the baby geese, I think, got eaten. Looks like it was a fox. That 
after a while you've had chickens, you can tell what kills what, only by how what's left. Normally the fox will run up and there's a couple spots where um, they'll come up and they'll grab them and the feathers get torn off. That's about all you got. Right, Mom? Right, Mom. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, sweetheart. I gotta get wet wipes. I need to put that on my list. I'm gonna bring my list out with me. So I'm gonna go back in the house and put the milk away. So I'm gonna make milk. They're saying you're supposed to use the milk, the freshest milk you have, within 48 hours. So. And I've been, normally they say two gallons of milk, and I've been cutting mine in half because I wanna make sure I like it before I waste it. But really, I have so much milk right now, do I, I don't need to worry about that. Although I'm getting horribly spoiled about milk. I was, um, where was I? I was somewhere, I was going to have coffee as a training. I was going to have a cup of coffee. And so I got the coffee, and it was okay, but I like a lot of milk in mine. I like, pretty much that my coffee's blonde, has much milk as I like in it. And all they had was 2% milk. And I put the 2% milk in my coffee, and I couldn't drink it. There's a weird taste to it. So. And on YouTube today, I watched a video about a Dr. Martin in the European Union, the EU. And, um... He was talking about vaccines and the history of COVID, of the coronavirus, which literally started the year I was born in 66. So, and the more I listen to it, <laughs> my God. And I don't want people to feel bad. I'm the only one in my family, besides my mom and dad, and so my cousins and my aunts and uncles, who didn't get vaccinated. My daughters got vaccinated. Uh, my son, he's in the army, of course, he ended up getting vaccinated. My husband took one shot, and I didn't. And even my husband got to the point where he was like, you should just get your shot and be done with it. Well, it doesn't work with me. I'm stubborn, I'm hard-headed. You know what? When you start telling me I have to do something, that's when I really start to dig my heels in. I had a boss one time. He was like, well, you have to do that. And I didn't like this boss. And I looked at him and I said, the only thing I have to do in this life is die. I don't have to do anything else. Right, Autumn? She says, oh, don't get upset. Really, honestly, the only thing you have to do in this life is die. Everything else is an option. Not, not always good options. And I told he's like, well, you have to pay taxes. I said, no, no, I don't. I could not pay taxes and then go to jail. They could seize everything I have and use it to pay off my tax bill. But I don't have to pay taxes. I will not die if I don't pay taxes. Right, honey? Yeah. So, I'm the, not the person. You know what? And I think things that happened in my life, like where I used to work, some stuff happened. Um, things have happened in my life that have given me a backbone. I mean, I've always been pretty, I'm not going to. And it's just stubbornness. I've always been pretty stubborn. And I know that. So I try to like be rational about things. So if you wanted to convince me of something, telling me you have to, or you're a murderer, or you're a fascist, or you're racist because you won't get your shots and it primarily, primarily kills a certain group of people. Okay, that's not the way to approach me. Give me the facts, and then let me think about it. 
the saying you have to does not work with certain people. It just doesn't. And it comes out on their personality tests, too. I worked with a guy who we did these, like, personality things. It was really cool. Um, and he, the way he scored was actually really, and it met his personality. Now, if you asked him for help, he'd bend over backwards to help you. But if you said he had to or said that's part of your job, it's not going to happen. You're not going to do it. It's all about your approach to him. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. But you could, like, test people and then find out some of them. Now, he was, an ex he was extreme about it. I mean, he was, he was, loved him, loved him to that best fellow. Great guy. But once I realized that about him, I stopped having problems with him at work. I was like, I just have to ask him for his help. I don't have to say, hey, can you? It has to be, hey, could you help me or would you help me, please? Right on board. Night and day difference. Totally changed our dynamics as work co-workers. But anyway, so then when I did start questioning and looking at things, I didn't like what I was seeing and hearing, and I decided that I was not getting it. And the more people push, the more determined. I say, I'm not going to. Hi, sweetheart. How can I kiss you? Mm. See, yeah, she'll let me kiss her. She, her sister won't. Her sister won't. She said, um, hmm? let me see if I can fly spray you guys. I should say something on here. Read entire label. Only on horses, ponies, and foals. Okay, we had one that you could use on dogs and horses. Is this it? Ultra Shield. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm just going to make some peppermint oil carrier, and you guys can smell all pepperminty. Saturday. You have a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye.